All right, look, I'm not perfect. I like to steal things. And sometimes before I do a quest, I don't want 200 caps, I want 500. And I'm gonna hustle you until you accept. But a wise man once said to me, if they cared about it, they wouldn't have left it lying around. And by wise man, I don't mean the old bearded fellow shuffling papers on a park bench. I actually mean the gun for hire who I met in a dirty bar. Hmm. Robert Joseph McCready by name. Ah, sound familiar? Does the young mayor of Little Lamplight back in Fallout 3 ring a bell? Well, it should. Today, I will be listing my top five facts about McCready. And I'll tell you what, you stayed to the end of the video and I've got 200 caps with your name on it. 300? Deal. After getting him to idolize you, he will give you a very special gift, and this is a small toy soldier. Now what makes this so important is that it was a gift from his wife Lucy, who was killed by feral ghouls. And she made it for him as a present because when they met, he told her that he was a soldier in the army rather than a paid mercenary. For him to give you something as personal as this, you're really going to have to build a genuine trust with him. Or steal things, he really likes when you do that. Unlike how he spoke as a kid back in Fallout 3, as an adult, he can be caught stopping mid-sentence to correct any foul language. Now, he's a mercenary, doesn't cursing come pre-packaged? But the reason for this is actually because of his son, Duncan, who has influenced him to try and become a better person. In fact, McCready came to the Commonwealth in the first place to find a cure for his son, who's got a really bad sickness that involves painful blue lesions all over his body, and it keeps him homebound on a farm outside of the Commonwealth. So, say what you will about some of his other motives, McCready deeply wants his son to be proud of him. McCready really doesn't like getting wet, and makes several negative comments about it as you adventure with him. Now, I've got a feeling this is because of his time living in Little Lamplight, essentially a dark, murky cavern where even your clean pair of socks are soaking as you pull them on. Or, perhaps this just triggers some kind of digestive issues. If you take him to the Makra fish packing location, he'll tell you that fish gives him awful flatulence. Mm. If you take him to the abandoned nursery inside the Trinity Church location, he'll start tearing up, but comment that he just has something in his eye. Now this small detail actually says so much because on top of that rough and tough personality that he plays, and his indifference to other people's feelings, he really misses his wife, and his son, he wish he could be back home with him. Small details like this tell you that he's at battle on the inside, and family is certainly his best motivator whenever he takes a new job. And number five, McCready can be used to steal essentially anything you want. Uh, I guess it's just his expertise in the business, sure let's go with that, and not just an in-game exploit. But if you command him to steal something for you, he'll get away with it undetected even if you're blatantly in front of the shopkeeper. Try it next time you want to clear the stim packs from the doctor's office. <laughs> and if he gets caught, which he won't, but if he were to, well, <laughs> mercenaries, am I right? I didn't tell him to do it. And there you have it, my top 5 facts about McCready. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me, have you explored with him yet? And if so, how do you like him? Alright, thank you very much for watching. And as promised, here are the caps that I owe you. You run a hard bargain, my friend.